Welcome to another video. Look at this problem. It looks too easy to be in a math tournament, especially organized by Harvard and MIT together. This actually was question number two in the GOTS um, section of the Harvard MIT math tournament that happened in February this year. So you would wonder, why would a question this easy be in a tournament? You should not have it this easy. So the first time I saw the problem, I started doing it mentally because I thought, come on, this is easy. All I have to do is do this one first. And after doing this one, I flip it. And after flipping it, then I have to deal with this one. And then I do this, and then I have to deal with this one, and then I simplify. But by the time I was done with the first one, I was getting a number like 499, and that became a problem. Because you cannot be that fast unless you're that good to multiply 25 by 499. Yeah, there was, it was not the greatest of numbers. It's not impossible, but it might waste your time. So what is the catch? Let's get into the video. So for a problem like this, you should see a pattern that there are only two numbers showing up, okay? There is 20 and there's 25, there's 20, there's 25, there's 20, there's 25. You might as well go the algebraic way and represent 20 with A, represent 25 with B, and see what comes out when you just do the algebra, because it's faster. Maybe at the end, you might just get a very simple expression where you can, where you can plug in 20 and 25 into. And that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Okay, so here we can say, let's do it here. Let, okay, I wanna say equals here so we can write the final answer. So let's do it here. We say, let A be equal to 20 and B be equal to 25. So we have these two numbers. So the expression we have is going to be A plus one over B minus one over a. Nice. Divided by b plus one over um, a minus one over b. Now one thing we know is that you can resolve these fractions quickly. If you give these a common denominator, this is going to be a b over a. So it's going to be a b minus one. Okay, let's do it. This is going to be a plus 1 over, if you resolve this, you're going to get AB minus 1 over A. That's AB minus 1 over A. Okay, divided by, if you resolve this, it's going to be the same exact thing. That's the beauty of you not plugging in the numbers, because this is going to be B plus, here is going to be AB minus 1, but it's going to be over B. AB minus 1 over B. Okay. Oh, there's one over it. That's a mistake. We know we can flip this. One over a fraction means you should take the reciprocal of that fraction. So if we go here, let's go all the way here. What we have is going to be a plus the flipped fraction. It's going to be a over ab minus 1. And this is going to be b plus b over ab minus 1. Huh. This is the most simplified version because all we can do now is to multiply the top and bottom by AB minus one and see what we get. Look, it's gonna be really simple. So what we have here is gonna be equal to, if I multiply the top by AB minus one, this denominator, and multiply this by AB minus one, I'm going to get A times AB minus one plus A divided by if I multiply this also by AB minus 1, it's going to be B times AB minus 1 plus B. Nice. If we expand this, we're going to get A squared B minus A plus A. If we expand the bottom, it's going to be AB squared minus B plus B. 
Notice that these two cancel out and these two cancel out. So what you have left is just a squared b over a b squared. Well, this a cancels one of these a's, this b cancels one of these b's, so that your final answer is a over b. So the whole problem is basically a over b, 20 over 25, which is 4 over 5. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.